what do we got? We got Stealth Team Blue with Alphon as a Shadow Priest. We got Draxor as a Survival Hunter. We got Static as a also the Survival Hunter. Jab in new backs. What a name. And we got ourselves Zao. Yo, Jab. Sorry, I messed up your name. I butchered it pretty hard, didn't I? Held Rock and Team Ray. We got ourselves OMG Grani gonna be going over first. Versus the Shadow Priest. Oh, be kind to that man. We got Super in the back, Texas and War Grand with Johnny. OMG, OMG Grani. I wanna call you OMG Johnny. Getting hit with a fear immediately. That's gonna be some shadowy spells by Alphon. That's gonna be actually a cleanse for Grani as he goes in for a Dark Iron Racial. And it looks like he's lagging a little bit, kind of all over the place. Going for the big damage onto the Shadow Priest. Hasn't popped a cooldown yet. Shadow Priests are allowed Void Shift, by the way. If you're not the first, last one to your team, you are allowed to Void Shift one of your team members. Somebody stand right on top of the stairs, boys. One of you stand on top of the stairs so Alphon can actually target it easily. Just one of the hunters, just, uh, just outside of the room. Just a little. Just so he has an easy time targeting you, Goose. Because that's one of the things that Shadow Priests are allowed. Thank you so much. What is it? Stratix? There we go. Silence of the OMG Grani. Let's just try to get some damage to Alphon. No trick. It has been used by the Shadow Priest. Wings are up and running. Could be a Void Shift right here. Does Alphon go for the big swap? Does go for the swap. And there it goes. And Grani is going to have to go through a full new health bar. Getting interrupted with a bit of oh, Bean Gang. Part of the Bean Gang. Getting hit with the MC as the Shield Avengers comes up. If Alphon could somehow just uh, keep Grani at bay before that shield pops, he might be okay, honestly. If you're onto Grani. As the Paladin hasn't used any big defense, it's going to be a Shield of Venus down. As Alpha just trying to continue the damage, it's going to be a little bit of a uh, greater fade. And Grani having to back up a little bit. Alpha actually has a pretty good setup here. So far, he's been surviving. Looking pretty corrupted, though. I guess we'll know how corrupted he really is if you see any things from beyond. But that's going to be the Siphon doing some damage to Grani. Does get a hit with the Silence. Has to get a melee to take down the Siphon. What abilities do you Silence from besides your basic heals as a uh, uh, Pala? Like, can you judgment while silence? Isn't technically a spell? Vampiric Brace coming down for Alphon. He's just trying to get himself more Void Bolts up and running into Grani. Grani, no longer with the Shield of Vengeance. Could be a bubble, could be a bop, maybe. If Alphon can get enough damage, this is getting interrupted. Trying to get an MC onto Grani. Does check it immediately. This is going to be maybe Alpha going down. Does have Greater Fade. Does have Disperse. Trying to get himself some Shadowmans back to back. Hodge to follow, could disperse if he needs to. Grani just doing so much damage. Hasn't really taken that much pressure from Alphon because Shadow Priest isn't really a damage class. I'd say, well, I mean, they can do damage, right? Every class can technically do damage. But it's just the CC chains they can do on a healer usually is what really makes them super strong. Grani getting an interrupt onto Alphon. Could be a disperse right here. Doesn't even get to, does land the disperse. Almost got busted through the disperse, though. I think Alpha just needs himself some sort of like a long kite away from Grani, or maybe put dots on him. Mind control and keep him at bay for a bit. Is gonna get interrupted in the last second. Alpha, not really looking at all the healthy as the defenses. Does have Greater Fate coming back very, very soon. Could maybe use that Greater Fate with some chain CC to deal with Grani. He is gonna get a Greater Fate. Trying to shot him in. No rebuke yet. Is actually getting quite a bit of heals from the Shadowmans. I wonder if he's going for the uh, uh, Azerite talent to make the Shadowmans a little bit better. I mean, I kind of, I'm highly doubt it. Stone to Grani. He doesn't have a trinket for a while. Shell of Vengeance is back up. Try to see if he can burn through a Paladin. Shell of Vengeance. Hand of Freedom going to keep this Paladin moving, though. Alphon has 30 seconds at the very least before, actually 20 seconds at the very least before our defense is back up. He's going to get busted through his Shield of Vengeance. Maybe Alpha can make some damage happen. It's going to be Shot of Fiend running at Grani. And Alphon eating the full hammer of justice. Trying to get maybe MC onto Grani. Might be actually down for the count. And that's just how Shadow Priest go, but he survived for three minutes. You gotta give him credit, man. Survive for three minutes. You gotta give him the credit. But that's just how Shadow Priest goes. This is why I go on YouTube, but they always do. Always the best of the arenas are gonna go on the YouTube channel as separate vids. And next, Jab. It looks like a rogue straight out of classic. This is gonna be up next. This is gonna give him a little bit of a bow. Assassination Rogue with Cheat Death, too. That's gonna be interesting. This Grani is gonna have to go through Rogue. It's gonna be a long game if the Rogue really plays it like to his full potential here. Because with Grani the Paladin, I mean... I mean, you have plenty of defenses. You're gonna use them, right? But Jab is gonna have to go for resets. He's gonna have to go for the cheesy strats. He's gonna have to go for the long game. Trying to get some dots onto Grani, though. I think this got instantly dispelled. Hodge coming down. Does he get the big damage? Blind coming into Grani. Trick is out of it immediately. Trying to chase after Jab as soon as he sees him. He's gonna get himself a little bit of flash of light. He's gonna wait out the evasion available from the rogue. TD's flying by somebody. I would say it's by Jab. And Grani should be able to get quite a bit of damage into the rogue. Actually, just blasting him with the Tempest Verdict. Scooping down for the rogue right here. Unless he does something, cheat death comes out. 
Wait, did it? It looked like it did. Does see that go on cooldown with the UI? Because it will be on left, right? Maybe not. And Grant is going to pick up the eyes immediately. Jab, you're still not in the clear, my man. He's sulking around behind the tombstone. Grani knows exactly where he's at. Does get him out of stealth a little bit early there. Hulk Hulk shadow's coming out for Jab. Does get a shadow step around Grani, but around the small pillar, you can't really hide. That's going to be a hodge. I think Jab might be done for unless Grani just doesn't have finishing power. Not quite. Can the shot? Maybe Jab might be able to get out of there if he just starts walking away. He does look like this man walks. He doesn't run away from a fight. But, oh, there goes she death. Oh. I feel like he cheated death like for one ability, but not for the next. I thought she would like cheat death for a couple of abilities. I mean, you have like what 85% damage reduction when that happens. I feel sometimes it doesn't really work how it's supposed to. I mean, just me maybe. Looks like it's gonna be Dragstore up next as a survival hunter trying to get some damage on Grani, biking him immediately. That's gonna be also the steel trap as soon as he sees it. Hand of freedom coming out for Grani as he's trying to close the gap with Drag gonna be put on ice. And Drac actually gonna go for a camo, just completely resetting. But well, yeah, cooldown's up and running. I guess might as well wait it out, right? Still the vengeance and whatnot. But he's gonna get the dots back under Grani. Grani doesn't really have a lot of good line of sight here to work with. I think Drac can just kite him around. As long as Drac can kite him well, he'll be a good spot, honestly. Gonna be a Hodge onto Drac. Does shrink the Hodge a little bit late, though. Does see the wings from Grani. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a sh uh, faint death. For the hunters, just tried to escape, tried to get away from Grani. Take a lot of damage, though. Might be Turtle right here. And the Freezer Trap comes out. Grani chickens and immediately drag still pop the Turtle either way. If he didn't, I think that Grani would have had him, dude. He has Trinkets as, as soon as he gets hit by something. Trinket, if he's going in for the big damn. He knows what he's doing with those Trinkets, dude. He knows exactly how to use them. He does not hesitate. Stun onto Grani immediately. Gonna be dragged going in for a bit more of this kite from a distance type of deal. Does he run the big gushers? I think it would be super helpful if he did. Looks like he might be. That's quite a bit of extra dot damage onto Grani. Many advantage for Drac as he's trying to get himself a bit of recovery. Can Grani go for a big old 1 5? I mean, if he could get through Drac, get through Strat, get through Zhao, then he might be a okay. We are getting into that uh, dampening uh, game though, where we're hitting that 7 minute mark, 14% dampening. Around 10%, it's going to go to 30%. So it's going to really scale up pretty quickly. Hodge or Drac, the pet is actually dead. There's no pet sack available. Drac is going to take the full damage. And Grani goes in for a bit of line of sight away from Drac in case it was going to be a trap available. You should be aware that Dragster could drop down a freezing trap on him anytime. It looks like he's kind of trying to kind of bob and weave him. Not really chasing after him. He's just bobbing out, bobbing in, bobbing out. Looking like he might just go for the kill. And I think Drac is going to be just done and done. Does get a skill trap onto Grani with a bit of a self heal with Crucible of Flame. Try to go for a revive pet. I think Grani's just going to try to see if he can stay on him. One bro global taking him down. And next is going to be from one hunter to another as Stratix is going to be up next. Survival into survival. Grani's still holding on to a bubble and bob. So he's actually in an insanely good condition. Like if he burns all the cooldowns and strat here, I think he might be A-OK -okay still because he didn't burn a single one under drag. I guess he didn't really feel like he had to. But the aggressive use of the trinket was perfect for him. Strat just trying to get some damage from a distance with a bit of a crucible of flame. Shield of Vengeance off for Grani though to follow as he's just walking. It feels like he's just taking no damage while Shield of Vengeance is up. With the wings that are coming out right now. Static just trying to see if he can get away. Master's Call keeping him moving. Grani taking quite a bit of damage. Bubble coming out. Trying to bubble high to not take too much damage at all. The Static might. There goes a the turtle. He got a big turtle. He got a big cooldown out of the hunter. So he could be big. The strider could try to put him on ice. Gr uh, Omji Grani is kind of moving a little bit. He's kind of shuffling. Still got wings ready. He's still doing quite a bit of damage. Expecting the freezing trap probably in the moment. He's going to just walk away from static. Expecting that ability. Expecting the damage. He's just kind of taunting the hunter. He's like, yo, you want to harpoon to me? You want to get at me? I think he's from a distance. Hammers to fall. It doesn't even have the freezing trap. It's a trick and taking him out. Only had to use a bubble. And Zhao is the last one left. I feel like Omji Grani is in a perfect position for you to take him down. This would be as good of a chance as it can be. Flying up in the air. Grani doesn't really have a good line of sight. It's going to be Lance's. Upon lances, upon lances, does somehow find line of sight and does somehow get himself a little bit extra health. Bob, not gonna save it against the demon hunter unless he cleanses the wrong buff, unless he purges the wrong buff. He's not gonna save you. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think it's gonna be super rough. So, Grani, I think he's just trying to buy himself some time with the slows. 
Trying to just fish for a shield of vengeance. I think it might be done and done here unless he gets it. Bob coming out. Had to use it. He's going to get dispelled immediately. Shield of vengeance is available right now. Gran is still in a bad spot. Bop it shield. But actually getting a hodge onto Zhao. Does get a trick out of him. Cannot get interrupted right now. If he gets interrupted, this will be bad. Imprison probably is one of the worst things that could happen here. Grindy trying to maybe push in some damage. Does he have wings? Does he want to try to time wings with a big old chill of it? Is Pop? Does Zao have enough here? Does survive it? The blur does keep him alive. Grindy trying to see if he can maybe recover some health. Actually, looks like their health have been equalized. Stun onto Grindy for a second. Does Zao have enough to finish him off though? Big slappers coming in. Grindy barely any health. Flashlight. Oh! <laughs> So close. He had every cooldown. Almost every cooldown. Oh, actually, no. He didn't have bubble. That was the one cooldown he needed. But he had cooldowns for so long through the fight. He really didn't need to use much for Alphon or Jab or Drag. But Strad, like going from Drag to Strad, I think that's where it really starts to wear on him. As the Empany gets higher. And Zhao is going to be the last one on Team Blue and Held Rock. Ah, more survival hunters here, boys. More survival hunters rolling up. But in that 10 minute mark, Zhao doesn't really have a lot of ways to self heal. It's going to be Heldrock popping in defenses immediately. It's going to be Pet Sack as soon as he sees it. Flying up in the air, Heldrock could go for Feign Death. It's going to go for Feign Death. Zhao, if he sees this, nope. Feign Death was not enough. Heldrock had to go for a Turtle Shell. It's going to be Zhao swapping to the pet. Did land on top of a Freezing Trap though with a Tar Trap to follow. Heldrock might be able just to keep Zhao out in the open and get some damage. Demon Hunter is going to rush behind the pillar. That's where Hellrock is going to push up. Zhao, if he can get another stun onto Hellrock, he might be okay. Trinket not available for the stun. I think it might be done. Oh, my goodness. Stun locked and just blasted. Grani went in for quite a bit of damage there, didn't he? Huh. Well, there it is. I got a question, though. Is Grani, by um, any chance, is that a Quinn Rat? Is that a, a good old buddy Quinn Rat? From back in the day? That man. Whew, he switches his name quite a lot. I always find it a little weird, but he's pretty good at what he does. He's an interesting guy. Interesting dude. All right, boy.